So, sugar. There's been a lot of talk in the news lately about sugar, especially excessive sugar and health risks. So why would something like that be something that our body craves? Why we crave sugar. So here's what we know. Sugar is sweet, and that sweetness tastes good. It is good. Here's a little fun fact. Cats cannot taste sugar, but we can. Now, biologically speaking, when we eat something sugary, it stimulates an area of our brain called the nucleus accumbens, also known as the pleasure center of our brain. Here's how it works. You eat sugar. That sugar is metabolized by your body, and then it feeds your brain. Then there's a release of dopamine into your nucleus accumbens, and that feels really, really good because it's the pleasure center. Then the hippocampus makes a memory of how good that spike of dopamine felt. And then you have the amygdala, which creates a conditioned response to that stimuli. So now your brain craves that stimuli. Your brain craves sugar. This is your brain's reward system. So your brain rewards you for eating sugar. So let's back it up here. Sugar in the news. So why would something that is potentially so bad for us in large amounts be something that we crave, that our brain craves? Now you have to go back to a time in history where people could not get sugar very easily. And even before that, humans acquired the ability to survive on very little sugar. In fact, our bodies are really good at turning sugar, especially the kind uh, that's available in fruit, fructose, into stored fat. And in a time when sugar was not very easily available, that made a lot of sense for survival for your brain to crave that sugar. Because your brain craves the sugar, and then you get it, and then you have stored fat, you can make it through the winter, you survive. So that craving helped people survive. But then you cut to now. When sugar is readily available, it's everywhere. So now our bodies that require very little sugar could be flooded with sugar on a regular basis. That's why we crave sugar. If you're interested in learning more about sugar, there's a really great article in the August 2013 National Geographic entitled Sugar, Why We Can't Resist It. And I'd like to give a little shout out and thank you to Pearson Olay for partnering with us to make these videos. And if you're an educator, you should check them out, Online Learning Exchange.